So I'd like us to talk in a bit more detail about this bad experience that you had when someone broke into your house and tied you up. And um, I wonder if you can tell me a little bit more about how it happened on that day. When, when, when was this? It was on Monday. On Monday? Yes. Okay. And, and what happened? You were in the house? Yes, I was in the house cleaning. Okay, the baby was just, I, I always have a prayer where she sits there. So I was busy cleaning and sitting, so I couldn't hear anything. I just saw people, you know when you just realize there are people, you just think, oh, oh my God, there's people in here. Yeah. And I wanted to scream. And then, but because they had a gun, I couldn't do that. So that, I mean, I, I can't imagine that must have been a really frightening experience for you. And um, how, what have things been like now since Monday? What, what's been happening with you? How have you been feeling since Monday? everything it's just terrible i'm having nightmares mm -hmm. and I'm, uh, I'm having nightmares i don't want to clean the house anymore especially using the vacuum because i, I wouldn't hear anyone coming you know in the gate okay. and i can't i can't even look at the baby anymore because i feel so sorry for her yes so it's hard it's i mean really I'm, hard I'm, for me. I'm hearing so let's just think through you know, you're, you're, you're sleeping bad you're having bad bad dreams um, and uh, your ability to work, also the vacuum, is hard for you. And, and also the baby. The baby, when you see the baby, it really evokes all those feelings, feelings for you. And is this happening kind of most, most every day since then? Has it been most, most days since then? You... I'd like us to talk a little bit more as well about the sort of life around you. You're living, where, where are you living at home? Or are you living at your employer? Where, where do you live? You don't have children or a husband or somebody at no, that job. You're just there on your own. They are my family. Okay. <laughs> How long have you worked for them? It's been ten years. Ten now. years. So this really, when you say this is like family, this really is like family. Um, and uh, uh, do you have friends in the community, or where do you where do you have friends? Yes, there are the domestic workers around. Because it's a suburb, so the the domestic workers around right. uh, Westgate. Spending time with them since this happened? It's really hard to even go get out of the door. Really? It's really, really hard. You know, I have an initial sense of how things are going with you, but I, and I'm hearing that, that this experience has had quite a negative impact on how you're doing at the moment. I'm wondering well, what are you doing to try and cope with that? How, how are you surviving with this, uh, you know, in the wake of this experience? Well, this is, I'm not good at it sharing my feelings with people. I always write down, I've got this journal. I always write my feelings down there. So I've been writing each and every day what happens to me, how I feel about the incident, what I think I should do and what I shouldn't do. I just don't it down on the, the journal. On the journal. Yes. That's great. And you find that's helping a bit? It is helping, but not that much. Okay. okay. So you're still struggling. I'm still struggling even though I'm writing. 